Welcome back to the channel. It's October, and that means it's time for Spooky Projects. Today, along with our sponsor, Works with their Maker X tool system, I'm gonna be showing you how to take one skull and turn it into a whole pile of skulls. Okay, this is super easy and the results are super impressive. All you need are some empty HDPE containers. That would be these water jugs, uh, milk jugs, this is all that's left of my milk jug, or even these cat litter uh, containers. Now this is much thicker, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, but it totally works and it'll give you a thicker uh, end product. You also need a heat gun. For this one, I'm gonna be using the Works battery powered heat gun because I can and the weather outside is beautiful and that allows me to go do this on my front porch. Let me jump into what we're actually doing. Now before I do, I would love to be able to give somebody credit on this for coming up with the idea, but I have no idea who came up with this. It's been around the internet for years. So if you know who came up with this initially, comment down below, let us know. We'll be happy to give them a shout out, but I have no idea. I Googled around and I could not find an origin. So let me tell you what we're doing. You start with a sacrificial skull. It, I call it sacrificial, but really you're not gonna harm it, so it doesn't have to be sacrificial. This is one that I 3D printed that I use as a sacrificial skull because I don't like the red uh, that I have on half of it. But you could use you know, something that you get from a Halloween store or anything really, as long as it can take a little bit of heat. Now this is PLA, so it would melt under extreme heat uh, but it still works just fine. Just make sure you're not using like styrofoam or something like that that'll melt super easy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut apart your container to fit over your skull. You're gonna blast it with a heat gun in one area till it gets super hot and then take a sponge, a damp sponge, and push into that area and that will mold it and cool it at the same time, allowing you to slowly go spot by spot by spot over the entire skull, slowly sculpting all of that HDPE around the skull like this. Now this is a kitty litter one, it's super thick. And this is one from a water jug, it's a little thinner. But as you can see, if you are patient with it and take your time, you can get some pretty impressive results. Let me actually show you this in action. And like I said before, I did it on my front porch because I can. And while I'm showing you that, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the Maker X uh, tool system from Works. This video is sponsored by Works and their Maker X tool system. Let me tell you about it real quick. This is the core of the Maker X tool system. It's a, a power bank, basically. It's got a variable speed control and a wire that goes to a bunch of attachments. And let me tell you about the attachments. So in this video, I'm primarily using this heat gun. It's nice to have a heat gun that is super portable, but there's a bunch more. There's a hot glue gun, which you're going to see me use towards the end of the video. This has become my, my main hot glue gun now. It actually warms up faster than the hot glue gun I had before, and it's portable. Like, why wouldn't I use this instead of one I have to plug in that takes longer to heat up? Anyway, love the hot glue gun. They have a rotary tool like this. You could use this on these skulls to like cut holes in them or smooth off edges or rough them up to get, uh, you know, like paint to stick or something like that. They have a soldering iron slash uh, hot wood burner thingy. I'll just call it a soldering iron for now. In this project, you could use this to poke holes in this HDPE really easily. They have a whole airbrush system, including a new airbrush that's food safe. Uh, you don't need an external pump, it has the pump right here, so you can actually just plug this into the battery pack and start airbrushing things. Now I'm horrible with an airbrush, so you're not going to see me demoing this because I <laughs> won't make it look good. And there's an angle grinder, a little bitty angle grinder. This isn't going to replace your full-size angle grinder for doing, you know, huge metal projects, but for smaller stuff, this is great. And I'll let you in on a little secret. I actually use this with a special attachment on the end to trim my goat's hooves because I can get it out to their pin um, with a battery pack a lot easier than any other tools. And finally, you just saw me use this. This is their new scissor attachment. It's like a circular blade scissor thingy. I don't understand fully, but it works great and it cuts through this HDB, HDPE like it's butter. All right, back to the project. Thanks MakerX 
for sponsoring this. Okay, here you can see me using the sponge to finalize this last piece here and then demold this skull. And you know, I blasted through that real quick, so let me show you on this smaller one. It's really easy. I, I start by just doing the big features and I actually just use my glove. If you've got thick gloves, you can just use your glove instead of a sponge. Then once you get down to the details, heat it up super hot, hit it with that sponge to really push it in and get those details. The damp sponge helps cool it. Demold it, you know, just rip it off of that skull and you're all done. So you've got a pile of skulls. Now what? Well, uh, you know, use your imagination. Do something cool with them. Put them in a fall wreath or, or something like that. Or a cornucopia. That would be kind of cute for, for uh, you know, fall. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to make a, like a fire pit, like a faux fire pit. To do that, you could just use a box fan. However, Works sent me this job site fan that happens to be like the perfect size to do this project. So that's what I'm going to use and I'll show you how. They also have this cool little LED light that they sent me that I'm going to use to make to light up the flames. Just follow along. You'll see how it comes together. Here it is. I love how this turned out. This is my little bonfire of skulls. As you saw, it was super easy. All I did was took some foam and hot glued it on there in kind of irregular shapes. I didn't actually attach it to the fan. I just made a little frame that slid over the fan. So this isn't attached to the fan at all. I then hot glued uh, some tissue paper on top, placed that light in there, hot glued the skulls to it. And it looks fantastic. You could do skulls all around, but I'm going to be putting this in a corner so I didn't need skulls all around. I just, I love how this turned out. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I'd love to see what y'all make uh, using this method. And thanks to Works for sponsoring this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. It really helps us here on YouTube. And subscribe for more awesome stuff.